Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about the on, off and one event handlers in uh, jQuery. Okay, I'm going to straight away start off with a browser preview people. Uh, but even before I do that, let me tell you I'm using Linux Mint uh, version 15, uh, Linux Mint, Mint Cinnamon version 15 and I'm using uh, as a screencast to record my desktop. That's the software that's supporting it and uh, on Linux and the you know the environment where I'm actually coding is Bluefish version 2.2.4 in Linux Mint Cinnamon 15 okay let's start off with the browser preview let's click out here bring up uh, the default uh, browser which is uh, Mozilla Firefox always for Linux okay now notice we have a image of a button out here a power button we have a paragraph and uh, we have yet another button out here. I'm going to click this paragraph see what happens. We have the fade toggling on and off just like this on off button and uh, if I you know hover over the button if I enter my mouse over the uh, button image you can see that we have the CSS3 box shadow property firing off uh, and uh, we have uh, a shadow or a glow all around and when I leave the mouse or the mouse leaves the image you can actually see that uh, the shadow actually disappears Now notice this button out here has a function it says uh, clicking me removes the click and the mouse leave event handlers yes that's exactly what will happen if I click out here I'm gonna click out here and uh, notice now when I enter the image of the mouse the uh, CSS3 property uh, box shadow actually fires but when I leave it doesn't basically it has removed the mouse leave event handler and when I actually click the paragraph you can see that the toggling between the opacity and the transparency is not happening anymore so basically this paragraph has been rendered useless okay uh, now people I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly how this took place also before that let me show you my local site folder which has a few assets we have the externally lying JS file ext.js which is tied to the uh, jquery methods.html file and the uh, only other asset the external asset is this uh, button.jpg image okay very very cool let's talk about the uh, html document first i'm not going to reconstruct the html document but i'm going to reconstruct the ext.js file for you people because the html document is very very simple i can just explain it uh, to you so we have the uh, html5 doc type out here we have the html opening and the closing out here we have the head opening and the closing out here people okay now we have the script tag out here which is actually uh, tying to a CDN content delivery network basically it's uh, it's fetching the latest jQuery library or the latest jQuery package 1.10.1 okay so we have the opening uh, script tag and the closing script tag out here obviously we need the uh, jQuery package for jQuery to work in line number six again we have the opening and the closing uh, script tags the type is text JavaScript the source is the externally lying JS file that I just showed you in the local site folder okay so very very simple uh, now we have the opening and the closing body tags out here in line number 8 and 13 inside which we have a paragraph it simply says click this paragraph we have an image I've just used the SRC attribute people set it to uh, set it equal to the button dot JPEG which is uh, an external asset and then I followed it up with the BR tag I've not used the alternate uh, text alt attribute no neither I've, have I used the width of the height attribute for the image kept, kept things very simple we have the button opening and the closing tags out here in line number 11 people okay there uh, you go okay and I've uh, also used inline style with this button basically width of 140 px margin of 20 px margin top that is margin left of 20 px as well so the HTML document is very very simple people I don't need I don't think so I need to rewrite it uh, to explain it to you but the ext.js may be um, a little difficult for you to understand so what I'm gonna do is more or less I'm gonna reconstruct it okay so we have the document ready function going out here so when the document is actually ready to be manipulated then we fire this chunk of code inside okay uh, again people I'm gonna talk about the uh, one on and off uh, event handlers in this uh, jQuery and HTML CSS tutorial okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away a lot of code 
uh, yep I'm gonna say control X to cut it off just gonna leave uh, what is really really required okay so people we have the document ready function uh, going out here and I've declared three variables I've I've declared a variable para which is actually referring to the dollar sign P I've declared yet another variable image which is referring to the dollar sign uh, IMG or the image and uh, I've declared yet another variable called it BTN which is referring to the only button that we have we have one single para one single image and uh, one single button so it's referring to those uh, three tags okay let's start coding okay once you you know put everything uh, in, in, in a variable like this then coding actually becomes very, very simple as we'll soon see so when somebody actually clicks on the paragraph let's say I would want the uh, image to toggle fade or fade toggle and how would you do it you would say p dot click and then uh, you would say function wouldn't you this is the way you would be writing your function people cool so when somebody clicks uh, uh, on the paragraph I would want the image to fade toggle this is the way we've been used to writing so IMG which is actually uh, equal to uh, dollar sign IMG in parenthesis but since I've declared a variable I can use the word image out here just say image beg your pardon image dot fade and then say toggle right and then we have a parenthesis parenthesis going out here and a semicolon right so when somebody clicks on the um, para I would want the image to fade toggle uh, let's see that in action okay let's space out properly and uh, let's say save and uh, jQuery methods.html take up a browser preview let's see if things are working out just fine browser coming up any moment there we are when I click the paragraph people it should fade toggle why isn't it happening let me just check okay that's simply because of, of a small uh, code error this should be para not p okay very cool now things should be fine let's bring up the browser let's refresh the browser people and let's click the paragraph yes exactly I'm able to toggle fade okay cool let's minimize I'm gonna make a you know a slight modification uh, to the code and hence I'm gonna show you the on event handler I'm gonna replace the word click with on I'm gonna go out here inside and say click here and then put a comma out here see I've just made a little modification to go to, to the code but in effect nothing has changed so let's save it up let's bring up the Mozilla browser let's refresh let's check again you see nothing has actually changed it's just a different way of writing the code people okay now I'm gonna come out here I'm gonna say one instead of on one okay I'm gonna save it up I'm gonna take another preview beg your pardon I had to first go to the jQuery methods.js file take up a preview now just coming up any sec okay click the paragraph it uh, toggles once and not again now this is the way you would be using the one uh, event handler that allows the uh, click event handler to fire just once never again not twice or thrice or endlessly just one single time that's the difference between on and one so then what's off then okay that's not at all difficult to explain let me first get rid of one and uh, revert back to on okay let me just uh, copy this bit of code let's uh, come down out here and push it again and then I'm gonna say off and rather I'm gonna use PTN out here so when somebody clicks the button it's PTN and attach the off event handler to it and yep 
that's all I need to say so basically uh, this should uh, take away the click event handler uh, from the um, no I would want the click event handler no this is not the way I'm gonna write it I'm gonna have to make some change out here okay I beg your pardon the code changes completely this is gotta be click then we have the function going okay put a curly brace out here and define the function so when somebody clicks on the only button that we have I would want the para and then off event handler to fire on a click so basically I wouldn't want uh, the click to actually work and the way to do it is just come out here put a you know a single quotation marks around the word click and uh, that is it okay now basically lines 11 13 and 13 actually mean if somebody clicks on the button the click event handler that we had attached to the para so that's a PARA again you know I wouldn't want the same mistake happening again to come off so basically uh, now if somebody clicks on the paragraph nothing should happen after you actually click on the button so what you had actually attached to the button what was attached out here is taken off out here in line number 13 let's check the truth out let's say save and uh, bring up the browser preview okay I'm clicking on the paragraph it's toggling the fade it's fading in fading out okay I'm gonna click out here and then let's see if, if it fades in and fades out now it wouldn't happen simply because the it have now the click event handler has been uh, very clearly removed let's minimize let's uh, code out further let's go back to the ext.js file okay very, very cool now I'm gonna say img dot I'm adding an event listener to the image and I'm gonna say on and then I'm gonna say mouse enter so when somebody hovers over the mouse then I would want a function going right so this is the way you'll actually define the function right and uh, the function should say um, img dot CSS basically using the CSS method now and uh, box shadow is the property that I would want to use so just go out here and say box dash dash shadow okay and give it a value and I'm gonna say comma and give it a value inside the uh, single quotation marks I'm gonna say an X offset of 0 a Y offset of 0 uh, a blur and a spread of 5 pixels each so 5px uh, 5px and then the color so hash 888 that's a great color so when somebody uh, when you mouse over the image the box shadow should fire and should work let's see that in action this is a CSS3 property people it doesn't work in some older browsers you need to check the compatibility so let me just save it and uh, let's go to the HTML document let's preview things up so when I click the paragraph we have the fade in and the fade out happening and when I actually enter uh, uh, doesn't actually work let me just check why let me check my ext.js code so image on mouse enter what's wrong okay okay this has got to be I am a G E so that's improper use of the variable name okay control C control V let's save things up once again let's go to the HTML document let's preview it up now okay very very cool now let's go back to the xt.js code let's copy this bit of code let's come down here to the next line let's push it and let's paste it and uh, just change this to NFFF for the color white but <laughs> let's cut it out again but on a mouse leave 
okay temporarily let me just push it out here somewhere and then copy this bit of code control C and a control V out here just change this mouse enter to a mouse leave L -E -A -V -E. okay and uh, change this to a zero 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 sorry F F F that's the color white not the color gray okay and let's remove this line completely don't need it anymore very, very cool so basically I've added uh, two uh, event handlers S uh, that fire on a mouse enter and on a mouse leave on the mouse leave the uh, box shadow is actually uh, white otherwise it's actually gray on a mouse enter let's save things up like so let's uh, go to the HTML document let's preview it up okay exactly what I wanted now uh, I'm gonna code out further I'm gonna copy this bit of code that's uh, btn dot click function so I'm gonna go go out here in line number 30 let's paste it out here okay now I'm gonna say when somebody clicks on the button then I would want image to switch off the mouse leave event handler okay so basically now what will happen is when uh, you click on the button and then you leave the mouse basically when you take the mouse away from the image the box shadow which is the white shade is not thrown all around uh, so basically what I'd attached uh, as a result of mouse enter uh, will work but the mouse leave won't work after you have act actually clicked on the uh, button let's see that in action too let's save the file up and let's preview uh, it up in the browser first going to the HTML document and uh, let's take up a preview so when I click on the paragraph people you can see it's uh, toggling fade now when I click it should remove the click event handler as well as the mouse leave event handler so you see when I uh, hover over everything is just fine but uh, when I uh, you know go off the image the mouse leave event handler doesn't fire and when I click on the paragraph it doesn't toggle fade doesn't uh, toggle between opacity and uh, transparency anymore so people uh, I hope um, I've shown you how we can actually work with the on off and one event handlers in HTML CSS and jQuery so people, I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial, found it informat uh, informative and uh, I also hope that you'll keep coming back for more. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.